Hey, what's up? In this video, I'll be testing out a new method of copper plating a glass rod. In a previous video, I noticed that when I exploded copper in a vacuum, the inside of the vacuum chamber was coated with a thin layer of copper, and I wanted to see if this method could have the same effect as a magnetron sputtering method. Copper is a very reactive metal that it oxidizes almost instantly, so when I vaporize copper in the atmosphere, the copper ions oxidize before it reaches the edge of the chamber. But when I when I vaporize copper in a vacuum, it looked like it stick to whatever material that was inside the vacuum chamber. To test this theory out, I'll be using 36 gauge magnetic wire. This is what I had on hand, and it would coat the chamber with contaminants because of the actual coating of the magnetic wire. I will put about 8 turns of the magnetic wire on the two electrodes and the glass rod close to the edge of the can to the wires to maximize the chances of it reaching the glass rod. I'll use my blue 5,000 joule capacitor bank, but I'll only charge it to 3,000 volts, so it will release about 4,000 joules of energy. Now before I go any further, I have one big issue with these capacitor banks and discharging them. They sound like a gunshot. I created a vacuum switch to reduce the noise of discharge, and well, it almost eliminated the discharge noise completely. The sound you hear is only from the copper slamming to the vacuum chamber and not the sound of discharge from the capacitor bank. I recorded this in slow motion because why not? And slow motion and explosions are always cool. So from the slow motion, you could actually see the green haze as an indicator of copper ions are present. And you also see the plasma swirl as it interacts with its own magnetic field. After the copper vaporized, it looks like there is just oxidized copper everywhere and the contaminates from the magnetic wire. I have about 350 volts left in the capacitor bank, and I did not set a way to completely discharge the capacitor bank, so I took the risk and opened it with the two electrodes to attach to the vacuum chamber. I will need to have better safety measures and pellets next time when I try to discharge my 44,000 joule capacitor bank that's right next to it. That thing terrifies me. I tested the resistance of the glass rod to see if I actually made it conductive and it actually was conducted on both sides of the glass rod and on the same side it was even more conductive where it was closer to the wire that exploded. I wanted to increase the thickness of the copper plating on the glass surface and so I used copper sulfate but what ended up happening was it washed off all the soot and showed how much of the copper was actually plated which is still a big improvement. I plated copper, and I plan on figuring out better methods of plating copper using this method in future videos. Thanks for watching.